What's up guys, I'm Shaq and today we're going to customize our iPhone's home screen based on the new iOS 14 features. Without further delay, let's jump into the video. So let's start by talking about the organization of the apps itself iOS 14 comes with a new feature called App Library, where all your apps are kept in a single page. That's super cool because it makes your phone easy to access. All the apps are stored in folders and subfolders according to their category, which turns the management super easy. You can also slide down and search for the app manually. Let's say I want to open WhatsApp. All I need to do is tap right here and type WhatsApp. Super, super easy to find. Now, when we talk about aesthetic, your colors need to match on your phone. So, I would suggest to you guys the app that I use to get my wallpapers. It's called Dark Wallpapers. This is super, super cool. You can basically uh, select wallpapers and download them easily and use them as a background of your home page this is super nice because the wallpapers are simple if you're wanting the dark mode on your iPhone this is something that you also need to take in consideration while organizing your phone because as you guys can see the colors change drastically when I turn the dark mode on or off I personally am gonna keep it off right now because the background that I have matches perfectly with the dark mode on Next up, I'm gonna talk about the widgets. This is my favorite feature on the iOS 14 because the widgets allow me to access an app without even opening it. I'm gonna start by the static widget right here. As you guys can see, I'm simply scrolling it down and I'm getting a different widget. So what I have right here is a widget stack. As you guys can see, I've got a stack right here with a lot of widgets. I can basically change the order of each app over here which one I want it to come first and which one I want to come second and I can turn on the smart rotate option as well which will automatically switch from one widget to another without the need of me touching it. I'm gonna start by moving all the apps to the app library except the home page. You can do this by simply pressing on an app and then click on edit home screen. As you guys can see, I've got a minus sign right here. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna click on move to app library. By doing this, I'm basically moving the entire apps to the app library. And hey, you do not need to necessarily delete the entire home page. You can actually hide the page if you want to restore it later on. All you need to do is click in the dots right here and then hide or unhide a page. If I want to add a widget, all I need to do is click on the plus sign right here and select the widget that I want to add. I can also choose the size of the widget, like if I want a small widget, a medium size widget or a large size widget. Trust me guys, this is super super cool and easy to manage. Let's go back to my homepage. As you guys can see, on my home page, I've got a widget stack right here, a notes over here, and on the left side of my phone, I've got my YouTube channel's subscriber counter, which is super cool if you are a YouTube content creator. If you want to have a subscriber counter widget on your phone, all you need to do is go into the app store and download the app called Sub count this app allows you to see how many subscribers you have on youtube and to add the widget you need to click on edit you need to click on the customize right here and you're gonna add sub count app into the list you can also add different apps over here i'm gonna add for example steve which is one of my favorite games when i'm bored let's say uh, i've got steve over here and i want to have some fun real quick i'm gonna click on tap to play and i'm gonna start the game you can also create custom widgets by downloading an app called Widget Smith. This app is super cool. It allows you to customize the color of the widgets and a lot more. I'm gonna open Widget Smith right now. And as you guys can see, it's gonna ask me whether I wanna add a small, a medium, or a large size widget. I'm gonna start by adding a large size widget and then I'm gonna click on the widget I'm going to click on the widget once again and as you guys can see right now I'm going to select the style of the widget. 
we've got time, we've got custom, we've got calendar, we've got reminders and many more. I'm going to select a photo because I want to add a custom photo. Oops, thanks for the comment. <laughs> because I'm going to select a custom photo to my home page. So I'm going to click on photo right here and then I'm going to click on select photo and then I'm going to click on choose photo and I'm going to select the photo. Let's say I want to have this photo on my home page. I'm going to click on back and then I'm going to click on save. Right now, I've created a custom widget with my own picture. I'm going to come to the main screen. I'm going to press on a widget or an app. I'm going to click on edit home screen. I'm going to click on the plus button right here and then I'm going to select widget smith. Once I select widget smith, I'm going to select the size which I selected previously, which is the large size and then I'm going to tap on widget smith and I'm going to select the large widget that I've created before. As you guys can see, I've got my picture right here on my screen. The thing I like the most about widget smith is that you can actually customize the colors. Let's say I'm going to select the month and date style. I'm going to click on the font. I can basically change the font that I want. I'm going to select this font right here. I'm going to click on tint color and I'm going to choose the red color and then I'm going to click on the background color to get something dark with an outline. I'm going to choose this one right here because I like it and then I'm going to click on back. I'm going to click on save. So this is called the medium one. I'm going to come back to the home page. I'm going to press on the app. I'm going to click on edit home screen. I'm going to add widget smith once again. I'm going to choose the medium size just like I chose before. But this time I'm going to select the medium one widget. As you guys see, I've got my widget right here, which looks super customized. Next up, I'm going to show you how to customize your apps icon and the name as well. All you need to do is search for something called shortcuts right here. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click on the plus sign right here and then I'm going to click on add action and then I'm going to search for open app. As you guys can see, I've got open app right here as an action. I'm going to click on open app and then I'm going to choose the app that I want to open. Let's say I want a custom picture on the buy me a coffee app. I'm going to select the buy me a coffee app and then I'm going to click on these three dots right here. I'm going to add the name to it. I'm going to name it as coffee and at last I'm going to click on add to home screen. Right here, I'm going to type the same name again. I'm going to name it as coffee. I'm going to click on the left icon right here. I'm going to tap on choose photo. And right now I'm going to choose the picture that I want to represent the app. Let's say I'm going to select uh, this picture right here. I'm going to click on choose and then I'm going to click on add and then I'm going to click on done. Okay, this is the last step. Okay, I need to change the name coffee because I already have an app called coffee. So I'm going to add another E and it's going to be coffee. Let's click on done. And here we go. I've got coffee right here with a custom picture. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe to the channel as it helps me in growing the channel. I'm going to see you in the next one.